and developing now fear and frustration for parents after a shooting on a high school campus in Prince George's County. A 14 year old student was hurt, another 14 year old now facing charges. That shooting at Suitland High School put the school on lockdown for hours. DC News Now's Leonard N. Fleming has been reporting all day from the scene, talking to parents and county officials. Leonard, these parents are really angry at the escalating violence there. Yes, they are. The, an argument on school grounds here at Suitland High School behind me ended in gunfire today. And parents who are extremely angry are condemning the violence, but they're also, a, also asking the question of when it will stop. It's not safe. The first day of school, they found two weapons on two kids. Like, and I don't understand. They have money to build this new whatever this is, but they have no funds to install metal detectors for these children's safety. Parents like Renicia Benjamin have had it. They're frustrated with gun violence in Prince George's County, and today it spilled over into their schools. A 14-year-old student was shot during a fight outside the school around 10 a.m. Police arrested another 14-year-old shortly after the shooting. Prince George's County Police Chief Malik Aziz said the violence broke out during a transition period involving several students. A verbal altercation of an exchange happened between the students, which then turned physical. During that physical altercation, someone produced a weapon and fired that weapon, striking a 14-year-old student. Not long after, scores of parents rushed to Suitland High School and their anger and fear boiled over as they waited with the school on lockdown. I just want to see her face and I can't even do that because they can't call nobody. They can't answer our calls. Not long after, Benjamin was reunited with her daughter. At a news conference outside the school, Prince George's County Executive Angela also Brooks tried to reassure families. We have had uh, direct contact with this community through our Hope Collective. Starting this past summer, we have been working with the youth of this community uh, on a regular basis to do conflict resolution. Well, we, sh we share the parents' concerns because in my mind, um, it is absolutely unthinkable as a parent that you would drop your kid at school during the day and believe that anything can happen to them. You, we, they entrust their children to us and we take that very seriously. Edward Jones said sadly he was not surprised by the shooting. I spoke to he and his son, Tyler, 14, after they left the school. This is not the first time. So this is something that is an unfortunate situation where we all know, and this is how society is. So it's you pray for the kid, the child that was hurt. When, what's gonna happen next? When this gonna happen? Oh, this happened again. We're like, oh, okay. Like, it hasn't even been two days. Like, yeah. It's just a lot of consistency with this, the violence, the shooting. The injured student, police say, is still in the hospital and is in stable condition. And police say this situation is still being investigated. Meanwhile, parents say that, look, they're upset about the escalating violence that has now hit their schools, and, and they really want this violence to stop. Reporting from Suitland, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now.